Pulling up on the crowd, looks like we're late. Doing something a little bit different today. Got my dad on the boat. Trouble. Gonna be uh, throwing the cast net, trying to get on some shrimp. My wife told me she was tired of me bringing fish home. She wanted some seafood. Nice shrimp. All right, guys, we are out here in the sounds. Um, first throw. Uh, got a few shrimp. Not bad. Dusty, your best friend. Don't pick shrimp up by hand, use a dustpan. All right, so the way we throw our nets is you take and spread it out into two groups you'll have a front lead line and a back lead line you reach down and grab your back lead line with each hand i usually kind of hold it in my pinky and ring finger and then you grab each group with about two foot rear back and let it rip it takes almost no effort um it's really quick to set up. You're not folding this over this arm and flipping that over there and twisting around backwards and throwing it like a darn Frisbee. Uh, you can do this, set up and throw three times in the time it takes you to darn fold it and flip it and twist it and all of that stuff. So that's how to throw it. Um, we'll get into how we work them and how we kind of move through the crowd and what to look for on the graph and all that. But right now we're gonna turn the camera off and go to work. Um, Dad's throwing a 12, I'm throwing a 10. His is a heavier weight per foot um, and he is spanking me. Uh, what we're doing is you can see the crowd's kind of running the main ditch out here um and we're working the outskirts hitting the edges hitting the ledges um and those shrimp will get pushed out of the main part of the ditch and when they get on that ledge they'll start stacking up working up that ledge and it'll bunch them up um so don't feel like you got to get in there and and let and sling lead with the play bumper boats. with the crowd and play bumper boats um, don't be scared to to fish the ends of the crowd and also the ledges on either side of the crowd um, if you do get in the middle be respectful say hello chit chat smile at each other we're all out here having a good time putting putting shrimp in the boat I better get back to work or my daddy's gonna be on me. Are we, are we marking shrimp? Yeah, see the, see the unevenness on the bottom. 
this is what we're looking at here you can see little lines every chart's different and you got to play with your sensitivity on some charts to get it to where it's showing see now we're really marking good that's probably that's, my that's probably dad's net coming back up off the bottom right there but you can see those reds and and stuff like that that's clumps of shrimp in the net so on this graph the light green is the least dense and it works up to yellow and then red if you see red and yellow down there you're on them thick so this is the line and the net coming back up out of the water um and that's the shadow of the net as it's coming up so you have to learn your graph and you you know move around at a certain speed pick a speed to move when you're searching that way your graph's moving across the bottom at the same rate and you'll learn usually about three or four knots is when your graph's going to read the best uh and give you a history because this is just a history of what you've passed over so let me get out the way and we're going to get back to work dad's putting shrimp in the boat without me This is one throw. Get these little trout back in the water while I smush some shrimp. Healthy shrimp, unhealthy shrimp. Healthy shrimp, unhealthy shrimp. That's a black gill. I uh, have a firm suspicion that leads back to the swamp runoff that I talked about with the trout. But uh, we'll save that discussion for another day. The graph skipped out because we slammed it in reverse, but that's what you want to see. Another tip is line management. Uh, you want to leave slack in your line so that it's not pulling up on uh, your horn, closing your net up, but also you don't want a big old wad of rope out in the water because you're going to find it in your prop. Um, you've got to manage where the boat is in relation to the net so that you're not drifting 100 miles off the net and when you're working with two people in a little boat that can get tricky sometimes and it comes with lots of practice yep it'll pull us right right where we need to yep so what happened there was i was kind of in a bad spot but as dad started pulling his net in it pulled the boat right back into place and now i'm in a good spot to pull my net in so we're almost at our limit so this will be the last tip of the day if you can't open your net you probably need to downsize one size if you're not opening it all the time you're going to spend more time untangling tucks and and unwrapping lead lines that are tangled up than you will shrimping so Make sure you're opening your net all of the way. That's what keeps it from tangling up. It's what keeps it tucking properly. Um, so that's pretty much it, man. Get out, have fun, put some shrimp in the freezer, leave a few for tomorrow.